through five games in the Las Vegas Summer League, the Orlando Magic coach Dylan Murphy gave Kai Soto a grand total of 21 minutes. Yes, just 21. That's about four minutes per game, and even that number is drastically brought up by his debut game where he played 13. He was benched the entire game for the opening three, and given minimal minutes in the final two. This is despite the fact that Soto chose the Magic over the multiple other teams he had many camps with, both because Orlando had recently worked with another 7 foot 2 or taller player in Bol Bol, as well as because he thought they'd give him a real chance. They did not. This is despite the fact that the Magic happily promoted him on their social media, but it now seems maybe they were just taking advantage of the fame that he has in his homeland of the Philippines and across the world. He was given 8 first half minutes tonight and honestly didn't fare that bad, putting up 2 rebounds, an assist, and a block. But then they benched him the entire second half, and didn't let him build upon what he had done. He even attempted two threes, and even though he didn't hit them, it's an amazing sign that a player that big is willing to expand their range. Because at 7'3", he could become a Christas Porzingis type if he developed the three ball. The Orlando Magic never gave Kai Soto a real chance. Now let's take a deeper look at Soto's first summer league and what's next. Before we get into the ridiculous benching of the dream from the Philippines, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you're watching before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below, it really helps the channel. As I stated in my last video, the Orlando Magic invited Kai Soto to their summer league team on June 23rd, after many camps with multiple other teams. The Magic were quick to promote him on social media and it gained lots of views and interaction. But until a couple of nights ago, it appeared as if they may have been taking advantage of his global fame, and they still might have been. He did not play in Game 1 for Orlando, and fans from the Philippines and in the US were left fuming at the benching of the skilled 7'3 big man. But then it happened again in Game 2, and once again in Game 3. It was unbelievable what was unfolding as the Magic were playing NBA journeyman DJ Wilson in a bunch of forwards over a high upside youngster like Soto. It seemed as if Magic Summer League coach Dylan Murphy legitimately had something against Kai, and wasn't giving him the shot he deserved. But finally on Thursday, in Orlando's fourth game in the Las Vegas Summer League, he was given 13 minutes of playtime. In his debut, he dropped 6 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 blocks with a highlight dunk and many easy blocks. He was arguably dominant defensively, and multiple times when players thought they had open looks, he just casually rejected their shots. After this solid performance in the Magic's fourth game, it seemed as if he would be granted a larger opportunity on Saturday against the Boston Celtics. It felt as if he had somewhat proved himself against NBA-adjacent competition and would be allowed to show what he really had. But even though they played him, they cut his minutes to only 8, which included an entire second half benching. When you look at this chain of events, you'd think must be Soto isn't very good, and that he hadn't earned more minutes. But when he was on the floor, it was pretty simple. Kai played well. If you flex his numbers out to per 36, which is usually used to represent the normal minutes of an NBA starter, he averaged 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 blocks per 36. Yes, you heard that right, 7. His scoring and rebounding was solid for an average NBA center, but he was dominant defensively. Sure, the sample size was small, but his ability to block shots in small periods of time is absolutely unmatched. He was the best shot blocker in all of the Summer League, yet despite this, he was only given 21 total minutes. So what happened with Orlando? Why did the team he thought was going to change his career end up holding him back? Honestly, it seems pretty simple and unfair. The Magic were trying to capitalize on his fame and use him for money. During the Summer League period, Soto earned the Magic their most viewed TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter post. More than even anything their stars Paolo Banquero and Franz Wagner put up, or their lottery pick rookies put up in Anthony Black and Jet Howard. The team never intended to give him a shot, they just signed him so more people would buy tickets to their games, tune in on TV, and check their social media. And despite millions of fans commenting, and heck even begging, the Magic to play Soto, they just wouldn't do it. And it wasn't just the Philippines, it was fans from Mexico, the US, and Canada who had become big fans of him during his time signed to the team. They treated him unfairly and with disrespect, honestly it feels like they lied to him. 
So what's next for him? At this point, it will be kind of a wait and see if he gets invited to NBA teams training camp and get a chance to make that team's regular season roster. But if that doesn't happen, it seems likely he will get picked up by somebody's G League team, or if he wanted to, he could return to the Butterflies in Japan's B League and work on his game for next summer league. But there will be more NBA chances for Kai, whether they come sooner or later. But the Magic never gave him a real one, and seemingly never intended to. They lied to him. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.